Hello. So today I will be explaining my project, which is based on fake job posting detection. This project aims at detecting the job postings which are posted on the website and to find out if they are real or fake. This is a problem which is often faced by job aspirants who are applying for jobs at a job website. And sometimes the postings that they see turn out to be fraudulent and after applying, they realize that they have been scammed. The goal of this project is to overcome that problem and help these job aspirants apply to pro apply to jobs that are real and not fake. So I will just give you a brief overview of my project. I will not go into de much details as the code and the report have all the details in it. I will be alternating between my code and my report and I will explain you in short what, what is happening, what algorithm is being used and step by step what is happening. So to begin with, here is our data set, which is a Kaggle data set. We have read it and printed the first five rows. As you can see, the data set has various columns giving details about the job posting, such as job ID, title, location, requirements, etc., etc. I would want you to note that the important column in this is the last column, which is the fraudulent column. It is a column with binary values, 0 and 1, 0 for a real job and 1 for a fake job. Then next, what we do is we take all these columns which have text in it, like company profile or title or department location. We combine that and make a new column out of it called combo text. This is for this is a part of data pre-processing that we are, will we be doing now. I've also added another column called co combo text length, which gives you the length of this one whole text, which is combined from all the previous columns. So we combine the text, we make a new column out of it. We find the length of that, make a new column out of that. And then we also drop the columns that we are combined as we no longer need them. This is just simply a part of data visualization, which gives us an idea of how many fraudulent jobs are there and how many non fraudulent jobs are there. Then for actually getting to the data pre processing, we start, we make a function called data cleaning. Now, initially, I had used only alphanumeric and lower and splitting of the words. Then I added the stop words uh, part in the cleaning function. Stop words, what it does is basically eliminates all the stop words from the text because they are very common, commonly occurring words in English language and they may uh, hamper our accuracy. So we make this data cleaning process, which is removing alphanumeric uh, characters, converting everything to lowercase, splitting the sentence into words, and removing the stop words. Then we are applying it to our uh, the new column which we had made, the combo text. And as you can see from here, these all these rows have been changed to lowercase and all the alphanumeric and all the numbers and everything have been removed. Then another part of data visualization is to give a word cloud. A word cloud is what gives us a list of words and the bigger the word is, the more the frequency of the word in that section. So this is the word cloud for the real jobs and this is the word cloud for the fraudulent jobs. Then we go on to uh, feature extraction where we initialize our X and Y features, X being the combined column text, which is cleaned, and Y being the fraudulent column. Then we do the regular train test split. Then we do something called as TFIDF. Now TFIDF is something which is used to retrieve the relevant strings from a very big bunch of strings. And it is important for this algorithm, this particular project, because we in the end want relevant things only, but relevant strings only, and not everything in general. So we apply the TFID for train and test. Then we finally get into our algorithm. Now the algorithm which we will be using here is a name based classifier algorithm. Now over here, name base has a library already in it called multinomial NB, which we have imported from the name base uh, library. So we use that function to calculate the name base uh, values for X, uh, train and test data. We make the predictions of that. After making the predictions, what we get is an accuracy of about 95%. Then we do a classification report, which gives us values like precision, recall, F1 score and support. This is also a part of like, uh, you can say the evaluation of the whole model in general. And I've also done logistic regression, which is about giving us almost around the same amount of accuracy. But for the major part of our project, we'll be, we, are, we are basing this on naive base and not logistic. So that's it about my project. The rest, uh, you can read through more details for the report and you can go through my source code. Thank you.